sports is a very short term, it's 10, 15 years max, and then what happens after that? And if you're not proactive throughout those years, that you're earning well and you're doing well, then you're gonna be stuck and you're gonna be left behind. And that's the, the trap a lot of people fall into. They live in the now and they don't think about the future. You'd rather be proactive than reactive. My name is Ryan Oosthuizen and I'm a full-time professional rugby player. The way I got into rugby was through my friends. Um, a lot of them played rugby. Um, I actually enjoyed cricket more, but because of my friends playing rugby, I was kind of forced to, to play rugby and spend time with them. And it just happened that I, I was quite good at it. And yeah, at the moment, I'm fortunate enough to be earning a living through to playing rugby. What motivates me is just to be better every day, not to be complacent, um, just to, to learn every day, be a better self, and yeah, just to, to help the people around me also reach their full potential. So the reason I started studying law is um, when I was in high school, my father lost his job, he was let go, and we didn't have the, the funds to, to appoint a lawyer, in a sense, and then I started researching what I can do now I can become a lawyer. Because of my busy schedule, uh, I wasn't able to, to walk class and that's when UNISA and online learning came through. I'm doing a four-year LLB law degree, but I decided to further my law knowledge through uh, online short course platform through Get Smarter. I chose contract and commercial law, the online short course that UCT provided, for the reason of furthering my contract and commercial law knowledge and also knowing that this nine-week short course is something that I can add to my CV. This course expanded my knowledge in the sense that it opened up my mind to how it works in a practical sense, how drafting contracts work, how looking for faults in sell and lease agreements works, um, but also implementing the theory that I learned in a sense of applying that theory in a more practical aspect. We should never be complacent with what we know. The world is ever evolving and you as a professional should have that mindset to always learn and if you don't have that mindset then you're actually moving back. Sports is a very short term, it's 10-15 years max and then what happens after that? And if you're not proactive throughout those years that you're earning well and you're doing well then you're going to be stuck and you're going to be left behind. And that's where learning and educating yourself comes in through online short courses or furthering your knowledge through universities. My advice for prospective students would just be to do it. Don't think about it too much. Um, it will definitely be beneficial towards your career uh, in the future. Just make time, whatever time you have available, dedicate it to your studies. Online short courses is an amazing thing. Utilize it and make the best of it. So my aspirations for the next 10 years or whatever it might be, would be to have a happy family. And then also to finish obviously my law degree, work at a good law firm and then to have a coffee business along the side.